Hello everybody, so in today's video I'm going to be doing another makeup video and today I'm actually going to be using a full face of my mum's makeup bag and she does have quite a lot of makeup but it's all like lipsticks, eyeshadows, stuff like that, like it's not necessarily every single product that I would normally put on my face. I know that from what I've got here, she's actually missing bronzer. I couldn't find a bronzer, which I'm really shocked about. I thought there would be a bronzer and I do kind of need some bronzer. But anyway, she's missing bronzer, highlighter she doesn't use, and she doesn't use a setting spray or a primer, or she doesn't use concealer. And she does have brow products that she uses, but I am gonna do my own brows because I don't want to use mum's product. I am going out this afternoon so I do want to do my own brows the way that I do them because I won't feel myself if my brows look different. But everything else we have. So let's get into the video. So I'm going to start off by taking her Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. She doesn't know I'm filming this video so hopefully she doesn't mind me uh, using this little guy but I won't be using that much because it's incredibly full coverage. So I'm going to take a little bit of this on the back of my hand. Right, I'm just going to take a little bit. Um, I think what Estee Lauder need to do is they need to come out with a pump or something because I personally don't think just tipping it out the bottle is ever a sensible thing because we all know what can happen but yeah it is incredibly full coverage so that's why I'm just kind of not putting too much on to start with and obviously you can always layer up and obviously she doesn't use concealer so uh Okay, so I've finished my foundation and my thoughts on the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation is that I actually don't like this foundation. I already knew this before I put it on. The reason why I don't like this is A, because it is very, I feel like quite sticky and can look quite cakey. With this foundation, you do know that you've got it on and you can feel that. I do feel like I have a lot more makeup on than I usually would. The foundation that I love is the Maybelline Superstay foundation and that is also really good coverage and a lot cheaper and that, you know, covers, I would say, an equal amount to this but just feels so much nicer on the skin. So yeah, I don't like the way this feels. It kind of feels tacky. I do know that it wears a long time and that's probably why people really like it and that's probably why my mum really likes it. But for me, um, being my age, I don't think I need this or want it so there we go now for powder uh, by the way i'm actually using my own brushes i'm not using my mum's brushes because she doesn't have any so uh there we go she's only got a few the powder i'm using is this matte pressed powder in the shade neutral so she hasn't got the one in the shade translucent which is the one i usually go for so this has got some color to it so i'm just going to take my brush i'm not sure if any stuff's going off but we'll see kind of mattifies the powder that i use is a pound from poundland and it's so good so i'd recommend that to you mum to try okay so we've powdered we're mattified um my thoughts on this powder is that um it's okay not as good as the one that i use um i don't like the fact that it's not translucent but it's all right for the price because obviously it's just natural collection now we don't have a bronzer which is really annoying i'm not sure like i swear mum did used to use bronzer so maybe like it's just i didn't see it or something or maybe she just doesn't anymore but she does have quite a few blushes and the one that i chose is this one from natural collection and it's in the shade rose blush and i just wanted to give this a go it looks way too pink for kind of my liking. I like to go for a peachy blush because peachy blushes make you look a little bit um, younger and it blends into your face a little bit more. It doesn't look less obvious. Sorry, it looks less obvious. So I'm just gonna take my blush brush and I'm gonna tap a little bit of that and just pop that on. My mum does put quite a lot of blusher on and I personally don't like to because, you know, I think you should put it on sort of subtle, subtle amounts so that it doesn't look like you've got blush on. It just kind of looks like a subtle hint. So yeah, if you just dab the brush lightly and then you can build it up. Okay. And what I always like to do is put my products on and then blend it out afterwards with my powder brush just so that you can get the finish that you want. So no highlighter. Ah, even though, you know, your face is naturally highlighted in that area anyway. So I suppose it's not 
too much of an issue now we're going to go in with eyeshadow so i'm going to use this palette and the reason why i wanted to do this video is because i wanted to use this palette this is from primark and the palette is called the smoky palette and they've definitely with some but well, primark basically try and make dupes for every single range whether it's copying kim kardashian's makeup kylie jenner's makeup um too faced they actually copy um urban decay's palettes so this is the smoky palette and um, the eyeshadows inside don't really reflect the smoky palette um that urban decay have come out with but i really was in enticed into using this because i'm interested in using this blue shade and this shade here it's just got some more interesting shades in it so i think that's what i'm going to be doing so i'm going to start off with this kind of pale shade here I think mum's been mixing them a little bit because it's got some weird stuff in it. So I'm just going to take a bit of that one and pop it on my eyelid. Could do with a mirror. That's why you need a mirror in an eyeshadow palette. Okay, so that's a decent colour. Slightly pinky. I'll bring you in closer. Right, I'm looking for a transition shade and I'm thinking... Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take this purpley shade here as my transition shade. So I'm just gonna literally take a little bit of that one. I'm gonna work that into my crease. There are some really nice colors in this palette, um, but I just never had obviously used it because it's not mine. So I'm using that as my transition shade. And then I'm gonna go in with, I'm just trying to think how can I use that blue? I think I'll do purple on the top and then maybe blue on the lower lash line. Okay, I think I know what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this purple here. It's like more of a deeper kind of purple. And I can see there's a lot of kickback in the palette, which means, you know, fallout of the eyeshadows. They're quite crumbly. I'm just gonna kind of pack that on my eye. I will blend it out afterwards, don't worry. And then kind of blend that in a little, as you can see. I'm going to do the same to the other side. Any fallout that falls um, down on my face, I'll brush away in a sec. Now I'm going to take this kind of brownie shade here and I'm just going to deepen up the crease a little bit. So I'm just going to kind of pop that into my crease and just try and deepen it up, even though that purple is quite a deep shade anyway. So it's, you know, a bit more difficult. And then I'm going to take this grey, actually this kind of, is that black or? Yeah, I'm going to take this black shade at the end and I'm going to take a little bit of that on my brush and I'm just going to pop a bit of that into the crease and it just deepens up the crease a little bit. So yeah, focus it on the outer corner is what I meant. Okay, and then for underneath my eye, I'm going to take that blue shade, love a good blue. I'm going to take it with my angled brush and start popping it on. I'm going to have to use a mirror because mm -hmm, it might not go well. Nicely pigmented. I should have used this in my um, blue makeup look I did. It's not really picking up the colour on camera as much as it is in real life. Like it is a really nice blue. Okay. Wow, that's strong. Right, there's no kind of highlighty shade in here apart from like a grey. But maybe I'll highlight a little bit. I'm going to use this kind of grey shade just to highlight a tad on the inner corner. But it's not really a highlight shade particularly. I'm now going to do a lot of blending. So I'm going to take my blending brush, which is kind of like a clean little brush. And I'm going to just be blending and blending and blending. They're a lot harder to blend out because they're Primark, so the quality isn't there as much as some other eyeshadow palettes I've got. But, you know, you get what you pay for, so it's still decent. The colours are nice. But yeah, it's when you've got more expensive eyeshadow palettes, you can really tell the difference between quality. Okay, now I'm going to go buff it out underneath my eye. Okay, and I'm gonna wipe away any fallout. Oh my god, my brush is wet. No, just wiped a wet brush onto my face. It's all good. 
Why is it wet? Maybe because I had a shower this morning. Okay, I'm gonna do my eyebrows, the one, the way that I do them always, and then I'll come back on camera. Right, I know my eyebrows look very bold and scary, but um, I haven't, I didn't use my, spo my spoolie that I usually use. So I'm gonna take this waterproof mascara from Natural Collection. It actually looks really nice packaging. I do quite like the packaging of that. So I'm gonna take this. Oh, the applicator's interesting. And I'm just gonna start running it through. Wow, I'm impressed. This is actually a really good mascara. It's giving a lot of length. Right, yeah, really, really like that mascara. It gives some really good length, so I would recommend. Okay, lipstick wise, I had chosen out this red lipstick, but I think that's gonna clash with the whole makeup look. So I'm gonna go into mum's bag and find something else. Okay, I've gone for this kind of nudie shade from is this Estee Lauder? I don't really know why my mum's got a lipstick from Estee Lauder. It might have come free with her foundation that she bought. But I'm going to use my little lip liner and I'm going to line my lips using this lipstick first. So yeah, just take a little bit of what's on top. Okay, and then I'm just going to fill in my lips using the lipstick. Very pigmented. Not keen on the shape of the lipstick, but I don't know whether that's just because my mum did that. Okay, so it's a little bit too darker than what I would have liked, but I can always lighten it up myself. But anyway, this is the finished makeup look. So this is what I've done using mum's makeup bag. This is definitely not the makeup look mum would do. Um, on an everyday basis or any day, but I kind of like it. Um, it's okay. I'm not like the eyeshadows don't blend as nicely as what the eyeshadows I have blend because the ones I've got are a bit better quality. Obviously, you know, the lipstick is a nice formula and really, really nice. The mascara I really, really like. The foundation I don't like because I know that mine feels so much nicer on the skin. Um, the blusher is a thumbs up from me. I do really like that and yeah so overall it's okay and i'm fairly happy with it so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video goodbye